Okay, in this video, I'm going to try to speak more loudly because I know some of you have mentioned that my videos are a little bit hard to hear, which I do understand, and I've tried to fiddle around with my settings, and I'm not sure if it worked or not. So I will just try to talk louder, and hopefully that will help. So in this module, we are focusing on the next step of our proposals. So we'll be building on the knowledge gaps that we've talked about before. And from that step, we will then focus on formulating a research idea and then two specific aims related to that idea that will build on the previously identified knowledge gap and then actually fill in that gap. And why is this important? So this is really important for proposal writing because it's crucial that your research question aligns well with everything else that's in your proposal. And to illustrate that, this comment right here is something that I pulled from one of my actual grants that was rejected last year. And the comment said, this is from reviewers who reviewed my grant. They said, quote, we agreed that the work she planned to do and the data it would generate wouldn't actually answer the applied question she stated that she wanted to address. So one of the reasons that they decided not to fund my proposal is that they thought that the experiment that I proposed didn't actually match my question and it wouldn't actually answer the question I said I wanted to answer. So it's really important to have this match between those two things. So I use this example to, first of all, illustrate that point, but also second of all, to reiterate that I understand that proposal writing is hard. And this isn't something that I just magically woke up one day and I was perfect at it and everything was fine and dandy science magic. Uh, in fact, this whole process of writing proposals is just this process of continual improvement and feedback. And even now, as someone who has a relative amount of experience writing proposals, I still constantly get my proposals rejected, which is unfortunately part of science, but that just leads to this iterative process of taking that feedback and using it to improve. So I know that proposal writing is hard. I'm right there with you, but we'll break it down for you to hopefully give you some of the concrete skills that you'll need to help you succeed when you're writing your proposal. So for this particular module, there are two main objectives. So things that you'll be able to do by the time you complete this module. The first one is, like I mentioned a little bit ago, you're going to take a knowledge gap you've identified previously and formulate an overarching research question to fill in that knowledge gap. And secondly, once you've identified and formulated that broader research question, what you'll be able to do is formulate two more specific research aims that will address that research question. So we'll break that down for you in this module, how to do that. And this is one of those lighter proposal weeks. So like I promised, I'm trying to scatter some of these less content heavy modules throughout the semester for us. This is one of those relatively lighter ones. And so the one main assignment that we're doing this week is for you to actually think about topics you've identified previously and to write a research question and two specific aims related to that. And I have an umbrella here shown on the right because that's kind of how I like to think about how the specific aims are related to a research question. I really think of the specific aims as falling under the quote broader umbrella of our research question. So I'll elaborate on that throughout the module, but that's how it's helpful for me to think about it. And again, I know I sound like a broken record at this point probably, but the reason why we're doing this is because it's going to help prepare you for that final proposal that we're writing in this class. And 
so I'm asking you to do it for this class, but also really I'm asking you to do this because I think it's a useful skill for you to have for your future careers as well. So while it's an important component of our class this semester, I also am trying to prepare you for life after Sac State when you go on to grad school or jobs or whatnot.